everybody, welcome back to the family channel. Hi! We hope you guys are having a fantastically awesome day so far. As you can see, Garen has decided to join us today because he yes. doesn't have a hockey game. Uh -huh. And we are officially back. Now, like I did mention in yesterday's video, the house is still pretty much upside down. So we are filming in Kat and my future bedroom, uh, which is a bit different, a bit echoey. The lighting's a bit weird, so please bear with us until we've got things sorted. It shouldn't be too much longer, hey? No. Um, they're no. finishing off with the windows tomorrow, uh, so hopefully we can sort of move back into our room for now before the kids move in just so we can film and stuff but yeah you'll see that's another story uh today we are reacting to five invasive reptiles that are causing problems in florida and we thought of this video because we have a new invasive reptile in our house this is iggy and iggy there's a story about iggy that's coming out soon and uh she is a bearded dragon that leia came home and said daddy there's an iguana and I was like, what are you talking about an iguana? <laughs> She's like, in the river, there's like a little overflow flooding yeah. streams here. So I was like, an iguana. So she showed me a photo. I was like, holy smokes, it's a bearded dragon. There is a story coming out. So we hopped in the car and we went and got Iggy over here. Um, and Iggy couldn't live alone. So we got Iggy a friend, which Garen is holding now. <laughs> um, and yeah, we've got a new house member, haven't we? Yeah. Um, every animal in our house, apart from the chickens and things that we've got for like eggs and things, our rescues yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is quite weird we live in Slovakia at the moment which gets super cold in the winter and we found a bearded dragon which like they are from Australia originally I mean this one didn't come from Australia obviously I know that but yeah it's so weird um, and literally she was on death's door yeah, wasn't I just she? Wanted to say that. it was so cold and she was just floating in the water and we actually thought she was dead until I grabbed her uh, which meant having to buy a new vivarium and lights and everything so yep I just wanted to introduce you guys to Iggy over here. Her name is Iggy because Leia thought she was an iguana when she's actually a bearded dragon. And uh, we haven't actually come up yeah. with a name for him or her yet. So if you guys have got any recommendations or suggestions for name, please pop them down in the comments because uh, we'd love to hear them. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's check out five invasive reptiles that are causing problems in Flor Florida. Don't forget to subscribe. As I've covered many times on this channel before, there are millions of animals in the wrong place. Whether intentional or by accident, oh, we've been transporting oh. all different Look types of animals outside uh -huh. of their native oh, ranges. Sometimes these animals can have a negative effect on oh. their non-native ecosystems, but in some rarer cases, Wait. they have little to no noticeable impact. Oh. In this video, I will be focusing on both of these types of non-native creatures. Are those cypress I trees? Focusing... I think they're called cypress trees. You can go and run and put them back if you want to. If they call, you're okay with them. Yeah. But if you if you want to put her this back, you can. A bit crazy now. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> I think those. He is very inquisitive. Yeah, yeah, she wants to chase the dogs and everything. We've seen trees similar to that on swamp people, isn't it? Are they yeah. cypress trees? I like I those. Think I they. really like they them. Look look they are beautiful, eh? Like. I think the lovely need a state swamp. of Florida. Florida has yeah. a very unique climate, which also means that it has a very unique ecosystem. It has many native creatures oh, that can't be found throughout the rest of the oh. U.S. But unfortunately, it's, it's also a mixing no. of invasive <laughs> species. Florida is one of the worst affected areas in the world when it comes to invasive species, and because of its climate, many invasive reptiles. There, now Leia. Home. That's an egg. Um, Florida has got a problem with iguanas. I've seen a few videos where people are actually get, I think they get paid to hunt them now. Oh, really? Yeah, iguanas, uh, really Burmese amazing, pythons, yeah. and there's loads of different. I like. I think it's 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 a tragedy that it's happened, but I think it must be so cool to go fishing or snake hunting I'm there, an and then you find like a. Yeah, it must be weird to them. Like for us, finding a bearded dragon here in Slovakia. Yeah. Imagine being in Florida and you imagine find an iguana. We, imagine we find an iguana no. and call it a bearded dragon. No more. In this video, I will be focusing on these reptiles as I'll be going through five introduced and invasive reptiles that can be found in Florida. And for our first reptile invader, we can head to Central and South America as we have the spectacled caiman. Uh -huh. Now, this yeah. reptile has quite a large range and can be found throughout many of the famous rivers across Central and South I America. Like Famously, this creature is in the same family as the American alligator, but it is slightly oh. smaller they reach a maximum size of around 2.6 meters and although this size is rather That's impressive it is by no you means the largest them, yeah. caiman as that title really? goes to the black caiman in its native range it has a varied diet mostly consisting of fish crabs and small mammals but they are famously unfussy and they there eat are. most things that they come across yeah. although these reptiles are native to central and south america some individuals have made the trip north and there is a small population in Florida. I want to go on one of those airboats. Um, Leia, can you please pop her back? I just don't want her to jump on the floor because yeah, I'm quite high up and this is a hard floor. Awesome. He's all right, isn't he? Yeah, or he or she, so. they're just chilling. 
And Leia's back. He is now back in bed. I just don't want her to jump. It's quite a hard floor yeah. here. In the lounge, it's alright because there's sofas and things, but I'd and hate for her like to get very, hurt. She's a bit jumpy. Yeah, no, well, no, she's really tame, but she's really she wants to see the cats yeah, and everything as well. Stress. Spotted in Florida in 1950, and today there are small breeding populations in localized areas. Luckily for these reptiles, really Florida has the parts. perfect habitat for them. <laughs> there are famously plenty of marshes, lakes, and canals where they can thrive. But of course, these reptiles are not alone. Oh. Florida is home to two large native crocodilians <laughs> being both the american alligator like and the american, american crocodile. crocodile both of these crocodilians are larger than the spectacled caiman and they would easily overpower them this often means that spectacled caimans have to pick their fights and this has limited their expansion luckily their need for a warm climate has limited light. them to uh -huh. south florida and there's little chance of them moving into other states of course they do have a negative effect on the ecosystem both by competing with the native crocodilians and also by feeding on native mammals and fish which are also struggling Bally. because of other invasive no, species Bally. Bally. so even though the spectacle oh. Oh. is a very interesting oh. predator, it really doesn't have a place in Florida. <laughs> but for our next invader, we can travel to Asia and some Pacific Islands, as we have the Tokay Gecko. Tokay Gecko. Now, this yeah. gecko is possibly the most beautiful gecko in the world. Site we have. I've been bitten by one of these, and for a gecko, they give a nasty bite. Really? They, oh these my gosh, things. yeah, they give such a nasty bite. If you, I'm sure you'll find videos on YouTube of a Tokay Gecko bite. <laughs> it's horrible. It's. I mean, it's not like, ah, oh, unbearable, but for, for a cute gecko, you wouldn't think, like, it gives a nasty bite. Pacific Islands, as we have the Tokay Gecko. Now, this gecko is possibly the most beautiful gecko in the world. Yeah, they and are. And it's also one of the largest. They can reach a maximum length of around 40 centimeters. And only the giant leaf-tailed gecko big. and the New Caledonian the, giant the, gecko the are larger. Yeah. As well as being large and beautiful, they are also Who's very loud. They have a very okay. distinctive call. And this call is, in fact, how they got their name. <laughs> Toke geckos are nocturnal creatures and they are great insect hunters. They will often move into urbanized areas because the oh, light from these areas ants. attracts insects, which these geckos are more than happy to pick off. Because of this oh, gecko's oh, beauty, geez. it's common it's to my yeah. pet tree. But in most cases, this is a very bad idea. Oh, this species is notoriously aggressive and territorial and can inflict an extremely trouble. strong bite. In most cases, they can't be handled and their bites can easily draw blood. Mm -hmm. If you are looking to keep a gecko, oh, it's leopard gecko. A leopard they have gecko the as they have a much milder temperament, oh, which is one of the reasons why they're the most popular gecko in the pet tree. The because the toke gecko can be a difficult creature to have as a pet, some people choose to release them into the wild and it's thought this is how they made their way into florida the first we've got so many animals but when you would you ever think oh do you know what i'm so fed up of having the rabbits let's go release it yeah like, no, I, I, you, you, you can't yeah you it's to, like once i don't know how the animal you have to look up yeah them. and like even if it's expensive like this yeah. layer was like oh but we've wanted a bearded dragon for so long and this one's free no, but i'm I like yeah free i had to spend like 90 euros but on a uvb light plus the heat lamp Plus the vivarium. But the animal itself is for free. Yeah, but <laughs> still, no. So you save like 60 euros. <laughs> Tokay mm. Gecko was spotted in Florida in 1965, and oh, today wow. they are mostly the found around the Everglades. The it's thought that some were purposely introduced to yeah, control cockroaches, and although they will oh, do a very good job at this, they will eat other yeah, native animals, nesting, of which yeah. some are endangered. They'll prey on nesting oh. birds and rodents, oh. and some have even been known to target snakes. Looks Florida like does have its own oh. species of gecko, but this species of gecko is much it. smaller, and could even fall prey to the ah. Tokay Gecko. There are thought to be 17 species of gecko calling Florida home, but only one of these is a native. This is just under Only one is native. Oh, problem in Florida. And although it's not the Tokay gecko's <clears throat> fault, it's a very unwelcome invader. But for our next species, we'll be heading to Central America, as we have the black spiny-tailed iguana. Now this reptile hey, is one of the more interesting geez. species. No, of those are Both cool, because bro. Of its Imagine I found that. Also I'd its freak size. Out. It Males scary. can reach a maximum size of around 1.3 meters, that, and this makes them the largest species in their genus. In its native range, this lizard does have a few predators to hide from, such as birds of prey and snakes. But if these predators do spot this iguana, it is by no means game over. The black spiny-tailed iguana is extremely athletic, both being excellent climbers and extremely fast runners. They are in the Guinness Book of World Records as the fastest lizard, with a maximum sprint speed of 34.6 kilometers per hour. That means this lizard could outrun most of you watching and makes it a very hard prey item to target. This lizard's diet changes throughout their lifetime. Juveniles tend to have a meteor diet, whereas adults mostly feed on vegetation. This species was yeah, I'm sure you can. Yeah, 
have to have an extremely large vivarium. Well, that's what frustrates me when you go to the pet shops here and you see the green iguanas yeah. and the tiny little tanks with a horrible heat lamp and that. You need a... Like, I wanted a green iguana for years and I still wouldn't mind one. But you need such... No, I'm not... I would never get one Is because you need it? such a big vivarium for it. Like, you need... Cli that, yeah, because I don't you think don't want to keep them in something because, small. Like, it's a, such a big animal yeah. like you know they need a space they can't just stay in that little box yeah like are they do always take the r's out like R's. yeah they're out every they day now no, males tend to have a meteor diet, whereas adults mostly feed on vegetation. This species was first spotted in Florida in the 1970s, where it had a small population on an island on the west coast. Mm -hmm. It soon made its way to adjacent islands, and eventually made its way onto the mainland. Of course, it is not the only invasive iguana that can be found in Florida, but it is one of the most damaging. As adults mostly eat vegetation, they don't pose too high a risk to native species, but they can threaten a large native reptile. Famously, sea turtles lay their eggs on Floridian shores. And these eggs can be very vulnerable. The black spiny-tailed iguana is one of the lizards that targets these eggs, and this can have oh. a devastating effect on sea turtle numbers. This reptile has few natural predators in Florida, but luckily American alligators have been able to limit their numbers to some extent. So this really is a species to look out for, because if they can form a large population, it could cute. be devastating for more native species. Mm -hmm. but for our next reptile, mm -hmm. we can head to Sub-Saharan Africa, as we have the red-headed rock agamemnon. Oh, this oh, lizard yeah. may be one of the yeah. hardest reptiles to those. identify on this list. It's Each specimen yeah. can look very oh, different look to each other as their colour no, depends on their age like and their gender. Males in and the get, season okay, are famous. So and we get blue headed ones. In Slovakia they call bearded dragon Agama. Yeah, because so it's part of the, the family. Same family. Yeah, like that's a rocky yeah, it's a Agama, A G A M A is like a speed like a part of, it's part of the family, yeah. Uh, very very colourful and are some of the most beautiful lizards on this planet. Females and juveniles on the other hand oh, are quite dark and can easily be mistaken ugly. for other lizards. In the wild these reptiles are primarily insectivores <laughs> and to be able to catch their prey they need to be very quick on their feet. As well as being very quick they are also very aggressive as males are very territorial and will fight each other to claim their space. Because of their relatively small size and the vibrance of the males you can understand why these lizards were popular in the pet trade. It's thought that they came to Florida in the 1970s through the pet trade, and then once again found their way into the wild. In their new homes, they have found many other invasive creatures, <coughs> and of course, as I've covered, other invasive reptiles. Even though this species is relatively small, it is causing a big problem. Its love of insect prey is the main problem, because it can target some endangered species. Florida is home to many native species of butterfly, such as the zebra swallowtail and the endangered monarch butterfly. This lizard is more than happy to target <laughs> these insects, in the corner. and of course, this can have a major negative effect on their numbers. Oh. So even though this lizard can be very striking and beautiful, it causes major problems for native insects and butterflies. Before our final species, we will be heading over to Asia, as we have the Oriental Garden Lizard. Oh, now, just like the previous species. lizard, this species can also be very hard to identify, as once again, they do change colour throughout their lifetime. Famously, during the breeding season, males are a bright orangey-red colour, and the females find this colour irresistible. This lizard has a massive distribution, and has also been introduced into other countries apart from the USA. In Singapore, it is caused oh, wow. major problems, See, as they are Singapore? currently a threat to is the native that? green no. crested lizard. Turkey. They adapt very well to urban areas, and are very good at outcompeting other lizards. In some like cases, they will even feed on other lizards. Two of the more common cat. lizards that they often prey on are both the common That's house gecko. geckos oh. and the day geckos. Oh. This predatory behavior means that they can cause major problems, <laughs> and this is one of the reasons why they're not very welcome in Florida. They were thought to be first introduced Jeez. in 1978, so and since fast. then, approximately mm -hmm. 100 specimens have been collected. So far, it's been hard to tell if they've had an impact at all, but this is due to their relatively small population. If we judge them on what's happened in other areas, they could be a major problem in the future, and this means it could be very bad news for the native lizards. Mm. Of course, there are many other invasive oh, reptiles yeah. that could be found in Florida, with some of the main examples being large snakes oh, and, of course, the tegu. I have covered yeah. these creatures in other videos, which is why they're not included in this one. If you know of any other notable ones that I've missed, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching. I hope you oh, enjoyed Yeah, there was the like last one. Like. He missed out loads. The Burmese. People have yeah. found anacondas. What else? Uh, Nile crocodiles, Nile. I think. I think they found I all sorts. Of I yeah, monitor lizards. Lizards, since there was only lizards there. Five invasive yeah, reptiles. Reptile. Lizard is a reptile. So is a Shouldn't snake. So is a video, snake. So is a um, monitor. Mm -hmm. So is a... Turtles and tortoises. Uh, yeah. Yeah.
I think he just meant his is if there was only I one. Think, yeah. I think it's horrible that there is so many invasive species in the sense that it's causing damage to the, the ones that belong there. But, in another sense, being a, a reptile lover, I would yeah. love to... You would be, you would be in heaven. <laughs> I would be in heaven. Like, when I was a kid, after school, I'd get home from school, go either fishing or looking for snakes with my mates, or all by myself. I'd bunk school, I'd take a little garden fork in my rucksack, bunk school and go look for snakes. Good to know, because we can add in. Look. Well, if you're going to find some snakes. Well, snakes. you already started, kind yeah. of like. Well, yeah. a, a part of you didn't find Iggy. Oh, he went, yeah, yeah. Time. And, and mommy always finds a snake if it escapes from oh, the yeah. house. Or, mommy bunks work. Or we go mushroom picking, like, last was it last year or the year before? We went mushroom picking in the middle of the woods. There's no water or anything. She comes across a grass snake that usually lived by water. They yeah, and it, was, and it was a big one. Even so. though I don't like them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm already starting for the difficult steps. Yeah. Now I just need to bunk school. Yeah, yeah. 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 and go looking for snakes and okay. actually find some, though. I thought he was in your trousers. <laughs> anyway, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Like I say, if you have any ideas for names for this little dude, feel free to pop them down in the comments. It'll be awesome if you guys could name one of them. Iggy has to stay because we were so confused when Leia came home and said there's an iguana, iguana. in the, and I was in the like, flood iguana. drain. Iguana, iguanas are huge. <laughs> yeah. How would they? get to the stream <laughs> but yeah there's a video coming out on that showing the rescue and everything i mean it's not great footage because it was dark but yeah hopefully you enjoy it I'll, I'll maybe try and put it together tomorrow uh to stick it up for tomorrow night but like i say have a fantastic rest of your evening and we will see you when next video bye, bye.